And welcome back, guys. We're going to be playing some more Atomic Heart. So we're in that one area where I used up a lot of my shotgun ammo, which I'm like, no! Make sure it's the like button, make sure it's the scrub button. Let's get back into it. Oh boy. Alright, let's loot and scoot. <laughs> Don't you love how I put this on streamer mode and I still got hit with copyright strike? Like, you know, saying, oh, you got copyright in your video? Still got it. That streamer mode doesn't really mean too much. Oh, hi! How many of you are there? I didn't like that. It's got some funky music going on. Just wait for a medic, okay? What? Medic? The entire facility has gone tits up. And who knows when the rescue team are gonna be here. But I'm hurting right now. I'll never walk again anyway. Uh, what? What makes you think the whole place has gone tits up? If this happened in Babylon alone, people from other complexes would be here already. It's happening everywhere, isn't it obvious? Maybe there's a way to lift this thing. Give me a sec, okay? There were three of us. They tried to lift it, but it failed. A robot could have lifted this, but we can't ask them now. Right. I'll try to figure something out. Just be quick. It hurts. A lot. <coughs> so... Oh, man. Another one of these. Actually, it's not down. No, it's too bad. I just need to.
lost it. Fuck my life. This is usually a harmless geodesic geology robot. Harmless my ass. What other tricks does it have up its sleeve? I'm not sure. I don't have access to this model's data. I wish it didn't have access to us. I couldn't agree more, Comrade Major. Come on, let's go find that canister. At least we won't have to find the door to the shop. We can just climb through the window. Okay, so we clean through all that. Oh man, it's gonna make me go in there. I'm gonna go to the back here. I have more stuff. I have a feeling I'm gonna need more shotgun ammo. Please select the desired procedure. All right. Ammo, please. Ooh. these cartridges, what can they be used for? What will it be, Major? Weapons? I don't know how to use these. Granted. Okay, so this goes on that weapon thing. I was curious what the hell these are. All right, so I've got plenty of ammo in storage. What is this, a jelly thing? I made too much. Gonna check my time. Oops.
try to pick them off one at a time here. I gotta save up resources so that I can uh, make the pistol. Gotta chill up here for a second. That one up there is not happy. think the canister might be a device that dispenses the luminescent polymer is located on one of these platforms <sighs> let's go find it oh finally someone new to talk to and a live one too new did someone else all right i gotta go Talk to you later. These canisters are yes. used with polymer dispensers, Comrade Major. One could prove useful. Yeah, that's why I grabbed one. It looked awfully specific. Great. I'll come back later. The synthesis process can be sped up. That's good news. How? The massive mixers that enrich raw polymer with anaerobic bacteria operate at a set speed. So if the speed is increased, the process will get sped up too? Where's the control panel? There isn't one. Under normal circumstances, the speed of the process does not vary. But a shock blast could provide their electric motors with extra voltage. Now we just need to find those motors. Comrade. We need to do something about the money. It's never a good sign if they're giving you a save point right now. I gotta use some, some of my shotgun ammo. Procedure.
Yeah, there we go. Did you know there was a cable car here? I assume there must be a way to service the equipment hanging from the ceiling. Fun puzzle. We gotta be careful. It's a long way down. I could get hurt. Hurt? You're an optimist. That's my thing, Chucky. Question, Chuck. Note to self, don't make 12 rounds of shotgun. It's a lot more than you think. It's actually 12 ammo packs of shotgun ammo, apparently. Just need to speed. 
speed up the last motor. No, at least I don't have to worry about ammo. all around, Chela's buzzing in the distance. be health. <laughs> uh, I'll do two for now. Please select the desired procedure. I should be fine with that. Gonna be a nope in that department. Comrade Major. Yes. Got something constructive to say? Have I done something to offend you? Why are you taking your frustration out on me? <sighs> Sorry. It's not your fault. I'm just mad at myself. Why? You didn't kill Petrov. He was killed by his own weapon. A hostile robot. That doesn't matter. I was supposed to take him alive, and I failed. And that's not all. Sechenov saved my life. He's like a father to me. As far as I can remember, 
anyway. I let him down. How much of your life do you remember, Comrade Major? Uh, two years, maybe a little more. I can't remember much from before I got hurt, but as I said, he's like a father to me. If there's anything I'm sure about, it's that. Fair enough. But it's illogical to berate yourself for something that isn't your fault. Who cares if it's logical or not? Dr. Sechenov was counting on me, and I let him down. Now he's disappointed in me. And I feel like shit. If that's what's troubling you, just let it go. There's nothing unusual about your situation. What do you mean? Isn't it obvious? Comrade Sechenov is always disappointed in everyone. There's no pleasing the man. His perfectionism is pathological, and everyone knows it. Every single person in his life lets him down. What? No, that's bullshit. Neuropolymer gloves are incapable of deception. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Tell me where to go next. Alright. Uh, so we got the green one. We need to do... It's like ice, fire, and plants, which... It's going to be in that one. That means I need to get... Something in here. Probably the hot plate department. I probably have to go. This is water, I believe. I'm guessing I gotta go in there. that? A drilling? Mm. <clears throat> I wonder what could be in here. look like they're about to blow. What the hell are we supposed to do? I have no data. I've never been here before. <sighs> okay. I'll deal with it. The boiler's too hot to touch. I need to find a way to cool it off from the inside. Cryogenic, right? Indeed it is. That is a Fahrenheit, a candle filled with cryopolymer. It's designed to reduce temperatures and equalize pressure in high temperature furnaces. I'll try getting them into the boilers. How do I get into the pipe?
Okay, I found the opening. Ugh, what do I do now? Lug this shit to the boiler myself? Crispy critters, that's the wrong door.
So the problem I am having is I have to drag those balls into the boilers and that one's stuck. So I'm going to have to reload my game, which I don't want to do. But it's the only way to complete this area. So I'm just like, yes, got some. Being constructive to say, have I done something to offend you? Why are you taking your frustration out on me? <sighs> Sorry, it's not your fault. I'm just mad at myself. Why? You didn't kill Petrov. He was killed by his own weapon, a hostile robot. That doesn't matter. I was supposed to take him alive, and I failed. And that's not all. Sechenov saved my life. He's like a father to me. As far as I can remember, anyway, I let him down. How much of your life do you remember, Comrade Major? Uh, two years, maybe a little more. Ah, it's hot as balls in here. You call this comfortable? The temperature in the shop seems to have risen to an extremely high level. Ah, no shit. The heaters must have malfunctioned. The workshop will remain filled with superheated air as long as they remain as they are. Got it. They must be in a room somewhere around here. to blow. What the hell are we supposed to do? I have no data. I've never been here before. <sighs> okay. I'll deal with it. The boiler's too hot to touch. I need to find a way to cool it off from the inside. seen that stuff before. It's cryogenic, right? Indeed it is. That is a Fahrenheit, a candle filled with cryopolymer. It's designed to reduce temperatures and equalize pressure in high temperature furnaces. I'll try getting them into the boilers. Found the opening. How do I get into the pipe? Ugh. What do I do now? Lug this shit to the boiler myself?
sure? Pipes openings in the next room, and not over by the birch tree. Okay, second one's all set. Bullshit. It's like, I don't like what you're doing. I'm gonna rip your guts out like you, baby. Yes. Okay. Got something constructive to say? Have I done something to offend you? Why are you taking your frustration out on me? <sighs> it's not your fault. I'm just mad at myself. Why? You didn't kill Petrov. He was killed by his own weapon, a hostile robot. That doesn't matter. I was supposed to take him alive, and I failed. And that's not all. Sechenov saved my life. He's like a father to me. As far as I can remember, anyway, I let him down. How much of your life do you remember, Comrade Major? Uh, two years, maybe a little more. I can't remember much from before I got hurt, but as I said, He's like a father to me. If there's anything I'm sure about, it's that. Fair enough. But it's illogical to berate yourself for something that isn't your fault. Who cares if it's logical or not? Dr. Sechenov was counting on you. Uh, the boilers look like they're about to blow. What the hell are we supposed to do? I have no data. I've never been here before. <sighs> okay. I'll deal with it. that stuff before. It's cryogenic, right? Indeed it is. That is a Fahrenheit, a candle filled with cryopolymer. It's designed to reduce temperatures and equalize pressure in high temperature furnaces. I'll try getting them into the boilers. Guessing they're gonna start spawning as I cool the boilers. How do I get into the pipe? I need to start with these ones and work my way to the back. Okay, I found the opening. It's a good 
Good thing the pipe's opening's in the next room, and not over by the birch tree. All set. Keep pulling that shit with me. Hey, buddy. Who the hell came up with all this shit? I'm sick to death of shoving balls into tubes. We're doing this so we can leave the Vavilov complex. Why can't I just, I don't know, walk out a regular door? I'm afraid only an irregular door is available. Chill there for a second, man. pisses me off. So maybe I'll start with the back one. And then I'll run up the stairs basically. Sounds more logical. Yes. Got something constructed. Say, have I done something to offend you? Why are you taking your frustration out on me? <sighs> Sorry. It's not your fault. I'm just mad at myself. Why? You didn't kill Petrov. He was killed by his own weapon, a hostile robot. That doesn't matter. I was supposed to take him alive, and I failed. And that's not all. Sechenov saved my life. He's like a father to me. As far as I can remember, anyway, I let him down. How much of your life do you remember, Comrade Major? Uh, two years, maybe a little more. I can't remember much from before I got hurt, but as I said, he's like a father to me. If there's anything I'm sure about, it's that. Fair enough. But it's illogical to berate yourself. Uh, 
The boilers look like they're about to blow. What the hell are we supposed to do? I have no data. I've never been here before. <sighs> okay. I'll deal with it. stuff before. It's cryogenic, right? Indeed it is. That is a Fahrenheit, a candle filled with cryopolymer. It's designed to reduce temperatures and equalize pressure in high temperature furnaces. I'll try getting them into the boilers. Wish found there, the opening. It's a great game. I just wish that their streamer mode actually got got rid of the copyright music. It's not exactly streamer mode if it's got copyright music, you know. How do I get into the pipe? What do I do now? Lug this shit to the boiler myself? Even the easy one for last, basically. It worked. Two more left. Gee, are you sure? this one and I just need to be able to run for that door over there it's a good thing the pipes openings in the next room and not over by the birch tree set.
All right, so I gotta do that one and hopefully I don't fail. These bots, these robots in this room are one shot kill. Basically, they grab you, you're dead. I'm gonna make a save so I don't have to redo this, hopefully. Maybe. Some lunch. You want anything? Nah, don't do me any favors. I marched all the way to Berlin in my day. I can make it to the cafeteria. Thank you very much. Oh, chill out. Just trying to help. You know, all the mashed potatoes will be gone, and then I'll have to hear all about it. Yeah, go on. I'll catch up to you. Hell, I'll probably get there first. Whatever. These people. What? I'm not a man anymore because I lost my leg. I'm only gonna open the door. It's hot. I can get there myself without their help. I don't want pity, I want respect, damn it! I'll be running laps around you yet. Mark my words. Access granted. Hmm. Let's do two. Let's see what comes out there. Upgrade to electric. No, I can't. Okay, so this is excellent in range. What is this? Yeah, I'll buy it. The crown jet. Spray nozzle, incoming fire damage. What is this? Your glove can spray targets and surface with a jet of combat powder. Once applied, combat powder can be set on fire. Frozen, dealing damage, corresponding, shield. That's why I don't have to sit there and continue to redo the boilers. That's why I can just run up here and fight them off. Who the hell came up with all this shit? I'm sick to death of shoving balls into tubes. We're doing this so we can leave the Vavilov complex. Why can't I just, I don't know, walk out a regular door? I'm afraid only an irregular door is available.
Dr. Filatova yet? The one who helped Petrov butcher hundreds of people? No. She's still crawling around somewhere. I emphasize that Dr. Filatova must not be her. If her life is threatened, you must come to her defense. What? Rescue the bitch whose fault it is I'm wading knee-deep in gore? What the fuck? Traitor Petrov used Dr. Filatova without her knowledge. She had no inkling of his true intentions. I mean the viciousness of his homicidal maniac. Her guilt must be established by a court of law. <laughs> Too good for her. She deserves no less. Dr. Filatova is a renowned neural surgeon. Dr. Sechenov entrusted her with a collective research Hurry. that connected both humans and robots. She must not be hurt. Did I make myself clear, Comrade Major? I'll keep it in mind. Well, that was stressing. That was stressful. Saving data. What's the hot workshop used for? Heat-resistant polymers are made here. But most of the research is dedicated to the cultivation of heat-resistant flora. Nice. The polymers here are enriched with essential oils from Cacticae cereris, a cactus. The polymers make it possible to cultivate groups of plants that are adapted to high temperatures. Do they want to make the desert greener or something? Something like that. They plan to terraform Mars. The canisters fill automatically once the temperature is normalized. Everything here seems pretty cut and dry. We should head back before something fucked up happens. What do we know about Petrov's girlfriend, Charles? Are you referring to Dr. Filatova? That's what I said. Did the cat get your tongue? Do you know her? Dr. Larissa Falatova, MD, has worked with Dr. Sechenov for many years. He entrusted her with one of the most crucial aspects of Collective 2.0, with good reason. She replaced the late Chariton Zaharov in that role. Who's Zaharov? A tenured professor of medical science, an esteemed neurosurgeon, and one of the scientists who vanquished the Brown Plague. Chariton Radionovich Zaharov was also Dr. Sechenov's closest friend and trusted colleague. They laid the foundation Attention. for Facility 3826 Center. together. Great, whatever. Right so what about Falatima? She's a talented neurosurgeon and was Comrade Zaharov's student and assistant. She continued the professor's work after he died. But she is now a criminal and a traitor to the motherland. Understood. It's too bad. She's kind of cute. This is the lovely hallway of doom. It's too bad how it all ended up. No one ever thought something like this could happen. It was always going to the stars. The bright future that awaits us. Now all I can do is lie here and think about it all. How long ago did the robots attack? To be honest, I haven't been very good at keeping track of time. It must have been quite a while ago. At least a few days. How did you end up in the corridor? That was the first one they did in. Lab Tech 42 did it. I went to get some coffee, and it grabbed me by the neck. And snapped it. Right here. Can you tell me anything? How did this all get started? It was quick. Unexpected, and very bloody. You're lucky, you know. There are only a few robots here now. The first day, the place was swarming with them. Every corridor had someone screaming, or dying, or both. And where did the robots go? How should I know? All over the facility, I guess. I assume they went through those tunnels. A few of them got stopped or taken out. And I guess the rest are probably still out there, waiting for you. 
You seem pretty calm about this. Why shouldn't I be? I had my fill of screaming when it all went down. I freaked out, swore, saw terrified, dying people. Funny thing is, what scared them most wasn't the robots that were butchering them. It was seeing me dead and talking. But why do you think that is? Because it's a damn scary thing to be talking to a dead man. I mean, why I'm talking? I've no idea. I'm not even sure I'm happy about it. It doesn't matter anyway. Well, I gotta run. All right, see you. Which way do I go? Do I go that way? This has got to be some kind of mistake. Or do I go the other way? Such enough should have foreseen this. Not, not you not must have. Way. I'm sure of it. The reason I'm going this way is one, I'm curious to see if there's anything interesting this way. Now wait for this to charge. An extra minute spent at lunch is a minute stolen from the people. If I'm not supposed to be going this way yet, well, well. Ways are ready to go for me if I have to come this way. I don't like that noise I'm hearing. Double movement, what? Fading data. Oh, I gotta see what I need. Access granted. Trying to save stuff so I can build the uh, other weapon. I'm guessing it's a grenade, maybe. No, it's, it's a melee weapon. So we already built this. I definitely want to build this. So we have pistol ammo. Hmm. I don't have enough to build it right now. Please select the desired procedure. Shh. 
pot shot and juice. Not enough to. I need more of this biome powder. What's this crap? Shit. That is a sprout. What's a sprout? Sprouts were designed as highly efficient feed for large livestock, but there's something wrong with this sprout. Yeah, I would say something is really wrong with that sprout. A killer chicken. Now I've seen it all. I don't think I'd like my here on the outside of that door. Attracting their attention is not advised. Too late. the rescue team. More like a vanguard. Well, I'll be damned. Plenty of time has passed, but there's still no alarm. No army coming to the rescue. Okay. They'll send someone for you once this is all over. Sorry. Duty calls. Some other time. with this place. Its purpose is to study how living things can survive in a vacuum. So it's for planting crops on the moon and stuff. Among other things, yes. The research conducted here applies to a wide range of subjects, from primitive single-celled plant life to livestock and other animals. What is that? That calm down there for a second. That's some neat fish you've got in that aquarium. Thank <laughs> you. 
Damn clusterfuck. took you for the head of this laboratory. Reminder, it is time for you to take your blood pressure medication. Playing an excerpt from an automated recording of your last work shift. I have a bad feeling about this lab. I have a really bad feeling about this lab, so I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here. And hopefully when we get to our next save point, I can end the video there. Anyways, make sure to hit the like button, make sure to subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next video.